My name is Martin Shainin. Within the Detector Project, I'm leader of one of the work packages dealing with legal issues. Detector Project is funded by the European Commission through the Seventh Framework Programme, and we are part of the security research programme within FP7. Usually, uh, security research programmes are run by technology developers. We are different from the others because uh, we focus on law and ethics of the use of new technologies uh, in countering terrorism. The findings from the project relate to issues such as the use of body scanners uh, or the use of databases, data mining and profiling. We have looked at the use of uh, detection technologies uh, in border controls and in all these areas we have come with concrete recommendations which often focus on accountability and a proper legal basis for measures that uh, create intrusion into privacy and other fundamental rights. After the entry into force of the Treaty of Lisbon we have a gap in the issue of data protection. It's a crucial matter for countering terrorism because so much is related to the collection, storing and exchange of data when uh, countries and the EU fight against terrorism. I have become convinced that there is no conflict between security and fundamental rights. The question is how to introduce permissible restrictions, limitations to fundamental rights without needing to resort to exceptions from the law or violations of human rights. Non-discrimination is an important area of uh, our recommendations because uh, uh, profiling of terrorists easily leads to discriminatory measures and it must be made clear that any use of detection technologies must, must not have discriminatory effects because that only alienates the communities with which uh, authorities should cooperate in order to counter terrorism. We have had good, good cooperation with the Commission, uh, with national authorities, uh, also with the European Parliament. I would say that the Detector project has been influential in shaping the European debate on the use of body scanners at airports, where the concerns related to fundamental rights have been taken on board the discussion and decision making. Where we have faced uh, national sensitivities is uh, in the field of the secret use of detection technologies in countering terrorism, where in particular intelligence agencies try to tell us that their choice of technologies is not a matter for public discussion. Uh, we can accept that there must be room for discretion, uh, but what, where we insist uh, on the requirement of legality is that the intrusion into privacy and other fundamental rights must be regulated by law. Counterterrorism is an area where authorities too often react in panic. When we speak, for instance, about the London riots, it was troubling to hear that some people within the UK government so quickly uh, proposed measures that would interfere with, for instance, social media, the use of modern telecommunications by individuals. And that sounded strangely similar to what the regime in Egypt was doing when the unrest started there. Therefore, it's very important to have a proper legal framework in place to start with. That's a way to resist the panic. 